Hello everyone, today I want to start a new series of videos with some guitar workouts. The idea is to show you a whole workout that you can do along with me. It can be sometimes overwhelming when searching on YouTube for guitar workouts and finding just a million of videos without knowing how to put them together to practice efficiently on a daily basis. The most traditional but effective and very important way to practice an instrument is by using a metronome. I want to make the workouts a little more interesting and fun for you by using instead a drum machine. Getting used to practice with drums or a drum machine requires a little more timing skills than with a metronome, but you will get used to this very fast if you are constant on your workout. Before we continue, if you enjoy my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. Today I have four good warm-up exercises. Try to practice them on a daily basis, always before your real workout starts. Let's go with the first exercise. This one is not so easy for beginners, but we are going to do it slow. The purpose of this is of course to warm up and also for developing finger independence. So we are going to begin on the first string. You can take whatever fret you want, but I'm gonna take the fret number five. So we are gonna put our index finger on the fret five, um, and then the middle finger is gonna take the fret number six, the ring finger the fret seven, and the pinky the eight. But for now we are gonna do two pull-offs from the fret six to the five, so by using the middle finger, like this. Next we are gonna do again two pull-offs from the fret number seven with the ring finger, Then from the fret 8 to the 5 with the pinky. And then one more time from the fret 7 to the 5. So we've got now this. Next we are going to pull off from the fret 7 to the fret 6, so by using the ring finger and the middle finger. Now we are gonna do two pull-offs from the fret eight to the six. Then we have from the fret eight to the fret seven. And finally, from the fret eight to the fret six. So if I play it completely, it looks like this. Okay, so we are gonna do after the first string the same on the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. Once we have done on the last string, we are gonna move one fret to the right, and we are gonna start descending with the same pattern until we reach the first string. Try to play this as clean and as smooth as you can. Let's start.
The second exercise is for training coordination between both hands and also to train the fingers to stay close to the strings. I'm going to choose again the fret number five to start. So I'm gonna put my index finger here and I'm gonna do five, six, seven. Then I'm gonna do six, seven, eight. Then seven, eight, five on the next string. Then I have eight, five, six on the fifth string. Then I have five, six, seven. And then six, seven, eight. Now I have all my fingers on the fifth string and I continue like that. Seven, eight, five, eight, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, and etc. Always keep your fingers uh, on the fret so you move only one, only one finger at a time. And we are gonna do this until making it to the first string here and then we are going to come up with the pattern of four three two one so like this and then we do the exercise one more time so we do this whole exercise twice um, when you go back with the four three two one just pay attention to stay with to keep your fingers also close to the strings so let's start. The next exercise is divided into three parts for warming up our right hand. We are going to play four notes per beat. You can either play it with the string open, or you can mute it here with the, right, with the left hand, or do a palm muting with the right one. I'm going to be doing palm muting, so we are going to play like this. We are going to go until the first string, then we come up and we are going to do this five times so let's start Now we are going to play the open strings again like this. 6, 5, 6, 5, 5, 4, 5, 4, 4, 3, 4, 3, 3, 2, 3, 2, 2, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 4, 3, 5, 4, 5, 4, 6, 5, 6, 5. So we are going to repeat this five times again.
and now we do six five four five four three four three two three two one one two three two three four three four five 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 four five six and we are going to repeat this five times again Good, now the last workout of today. This is again for the coordination of both hands. So we are gonna play four notes per beat, starting on the first string on the fret 15. So we play once and then we do three times with the open string, like this. Then we do the same on the 14, on the 12 and on the 10. So it looks like this. Then we repeat this pattern from the 12, then the 10, 8, 7. And then 8, 7, 5, 3. So the whole string looks like this then. Okay, so we are going to do this on every string up to the sixth one and then we start descending until we go back to the first string. We are going to play this a little faster than the previous exercises, so 80 BPM. Try to keep your right hand relaxed and concentrate on the movement. So that's it for this workout of today. I hope you could catch everything. If not, make sure to go back in the video to the parts where you have problems. 
If it's too fast for you, try it even slower until you can keep up with the speed of the video. Remember to stick to these warm-ups every day so then your other workouts during the day will be more beneficial. If you have any questions or comments, post them below and I will be happy to answer them. See you soon again. Bye!